Welcome to race day two at the 470 World Championships and the concluding day of the five race qualification stage. A light and shifty breeze kept fleets ashore this morning, with teams spending time preparing their boats, relaxing with other teams and just waiting in the boat park. 116 teams competing in the 470 men's fleet, with 53 teams in the 470 women. Injury has forced out the gold medalists from the 470 Women Junior Worlds, the Maitre and Retonaz from France, but the men's gold medalists Jordi Zama and Juan Herp from Spain are testing their fortunes in the senior 470 fleet too. This week we started the World Championship with all, all the senior sailors and the, the level is really high, there are all Olympics and we have to work a lot until get their level, but we are here for learning and, and keep growing as a sailors. And just our goal is to get inside the gold fleet and have the opportunity of sail with all these sailors in three days and learn of them. With a stable breeze filling in around 1500 hours, teams headed off to the race course where the wind was around 10 knots. 38 nations are competing here in La Rochelle, representing all continents, including teams from China, Philippines, Angola, South Africa, Japan and Chile to highlight a few. For 2013, many teams are just starting back into their Olympic campaigns, with the World's Championships proving an ideal benchmark of their international performance. The lineup in the men's yellow fleet includes many renowned teams, including the world number one pair of Belcher and Ryan and Austria Schmidt Reichstadter. Hitting up with them off the start line were Brazil's Mendes and Thiessen. The Aussies sailed fast and managed once again to climb to the front of the pack in the middle of the first upwind, putting in another outstanding performance to add to their scoreline of two race wins and a second place. On to the downwind and the Australians had extended their lead, with Israel's young team of Cohen and Froelich, who last week claimed the bronze medal at the Junior Worlds in second and Argentina's Olympic bronze medal pair close to them. The Aussies sailed their own race with the Israelis and Argentinians choosing opposite sides of the downwind gate. As these two headed back upwind, the breeze increased and the right-hand side chosen offered up more pressure, helping the pair to take a second-place finish. The Blue Fleet were up on the track next, and after a general recall had an even start with most of the teams choosing to take the left side of the upwind track, where the breeze was a bit stronger. The British pair of Rogers and Willis claimed the front of the pack early in the race, with Brownclee and Hauser from Switzerland close behind during the downwind. Further back in the fleet were the French 470 heroes La Boucher and Le Bair, along with Croatia's Fantella and Marinitz. In the women's yellow fleet, Australia's 2008 Olympic gold medal helm Red Chichi and new crew Cook, who competed in the rowing event at the 2012 Olympics, secured their first ever race win together in the day's opening race. Great Britain's Seabright and Carpenter sealed the second-placed finish, with Austria's Vadlau and Ogar finishing in fifth. Defending world champions and Olympic silver medalists Mills and Clark finished outside the top 10 but fought back to win the final race of the day. Shifty conditions were a challenge and brought some upset around the track. France's recently crowned 470 European champions, Le Quintre and Gironde were invincible in the Blue Fleet, claiming another race win after a thrilling battle to the finish line with Japan's Yoshida and Yoshioka and China's Wang and Huan. In the 470 men, the fleet are now split into gold, silver and bronze fleets for the final stage, with the women allocated to gold and silver fleets. Seven more races are scheduled over the next three days ahead of the eight-boat medal race on Saturday. We'll catch you back here tomorrow.